Good morning, boys. This morning, it's actually the weekend. Where are we mailing some hay? Uh, I'm just in here watching the water tank a little bit. I'm gonna go head out there. Good afternoon guys, well, probably morning for you because I post at 6 in the morning, but if you're looking here, look at these stalks, they're getting pretty gray, not gray, kind of brownish kind of, looking like they're uh, dying off here. Corn's starting to weep over and uh, starting to get a lot of these a lot of these dents up in here, uh, which is good because that means harvest time is right around the corner. And I mean it's so close that we're probably going to be opening up our silo uh, either during the week, which is Wednesday right now, Thursday's tomorrow, either Thursday, Friday, or over the weekend. Hopefully over the weekend so I can catch some uh, some videos and uh, him open up the silo, but I think think of tomorrow, he's gonna be working on the silo, getting that all closed up so uh, we, can, we can put some green chop, not green chop, uh, some silage up in there. But uh, as you look, Miller Rolls are starting to get more and more uh, brown, so it's good. And I'll walk over there and I'll show you all of uh, our machines that have been getting out today. To, uh, put the stuff up in silo and uh, we have a pull behind chopper so I mean it's it's getting close to harvest and uh, you know it's getting close to harvest because it's almost homecoming uh, yeah so I've been kind of missing out and not recording on the farm because as you see I'm a cross-country runner so uh, I don't get times in the afternoon I'm usually working out with cross-country so uh, hopefully this weekend I can uh, get some nice recording for you and grandpa can open up the silo so we can start green chopping not green chopping uh, chopping for silage so hope you guys are excited for that so uh not being over by the farm also causes some trouble with youtube too uh because i can't record as much and i don't have enough free time to actually record so uh a lot of the stuff you see is after school or uh before school hopefully i can get over here and ask him if he's uh chopping this weekend before school starts but as you see right here this is our blower to blow stuff up into the silo you can adjust it for height and for up there you can adjust the way the pipe flows so it can go 
straight up the silo. Uh, we actually just fixed our pipe on our silo, got that all straightened out a couple weeks ago. Me and my uncle went up there and uh, fixed that for him. But this this uh, international blower here, this blows a lot of really fast, a lot of hard, hard RPMs. To throw those uh, silage up in there, some big, big blades and whatnot up there. So, and a lot of power behind it. So we got 1066. Uh, 1066 is rebuilt to have a lot of power in this PTO and have a lot of power for mowing and shooting stuff up into the silos. So, which is, which is good for what we're trying to do here. So, uh, that's one piece of machinery we use. Another one is our our Gale, hooked up to our 1486 International. Uh, we've always green chopped with these babies. Uh, the only time we haven't is when Hank was around. They used to green. They used to chop with uh, an actual chopper. I'm pretty sure. I think there's pictures somewhere. But uh, you see, something must be broken here. Something's definitely broken. That's not supposed to be laying out like that. But get sand around the gears, oil stuff up. So hopefully something's not broken. Then I gotta help them fix it. So two row. Usually we just do one row at a time because it's really hard on the 1486. So yeah. So as we finish up that, uh, which will probably be at the end of next week or so, but usually we harvest most of our corn and then the rest of it goes to uh, uh, chopping. So most of our corn gets harvested, the rest of it is chopped for our cows. A uh, couple of fun things, hey, one of the view was this John Deere baler. Now since we're back here, I might as well talk about it. Hooked up to our 786. We've been bailing a lot, about 500 bales if you watched the last two videos. Fully stacked. This one doesn't look as pretty as the last one because I stacked it by myself and uh, the baler was going pretty fast so I couldn't keep up. As soon as you stack one bale, next one be at your feet. So, yeah. we won't be mowing the rest of our fields. The rest of our fields of hay will be sold off, I'm pretty sure. But it's pretty cool seeing the 1486 back on the chopper. It feels like yesterday that we chopped. Uh, because I can't remember the last two years when we chopped. That's about all I can't remember. I can't remember much after that. I did start up YouTube, doing YouTube, uh, about a year ago. And on this day is kind of one of the more important days that I did record a lot and show a lot and then over school. It really kind of faded off and that's not going to happen this time. Uh, I can promise you that I'm sticking around to show you everything we do during winter because winter is kind of a fun time to be recording because there's not much we do. But there's a lot of stuff like putting hay in barns and cleaning up stuff. We do a lot of stuff differently during winter than we do during summer. But uh, it's pretty much the last activity that the 1486 will be doing. And uh, after we're done chopping, the door will be put back on. And this 1486 along with the chopper will be pushed to the back of the barn. And that will be it for this season. Uh, more will be put put away pretty soon too it's kind of sad summer's pretty much over after you done chopping but it is what it is so i guess that's pretty much all i got for you and uh i guess i'll see you in a couple days guys when we're starting chopping